Okay, so what's up YouTube? So what I promised was a property tour and we're gonna give it to you guys. It's not very much uh, to look at. It's just so overgrown, but we're gonna be hacking it all back and we're gonna be getting after it. So I'm gonna take you guys with me so you can see what the property looks like. As you can see currently behind me, this is pretty much what my just under seven acres looks like. Just like that there. Can you see all of that nonsense? Up oh, the motorhome, bam. All right, so let's give you guys a quick look. Let's take a look what we got here. Let's turn the camera around. All right, so here we are. This is what we're working with here. I actually got my chainsaw out. I'm about to clear some of this out right here. You see my chainsaw right there because I need to just take a little bit of this out because I got a portable garage and I need to put up. But in retrospect of things, there's my motor home. That's 32 feet to give you perspective. And let's go take a look. Let's take, let's go back here, give you guys a look. This is what it all looks like, man. And it goes far, far back. I mean, not, you know, it's far back. But this is what it all looks like. And like I was saying before, there's the motorhome. That's my house, obviously, right there. And then that's my RV, obviously. Uh, and here's the land. So, and I'm gonna be cutting a little, a little, a little section out right here. I'm gonna notch all of this out. There's a little tree in there. I'm just gonna cut it out and give me some room so I can use this space back here. Because even after we had our first small snowfall. A lot of this property didn't come down like I was hoping it would. So I'm hoping for a little bit more snow this year to hopefully get some of this back down to the ground a little bit better. But this is it. Boom. We're excited. Um, this is the backyard for the record. This is all, this is all the stuff behind my house currently. I'm going to take you guys for a quick walk. Boom. My house. There it is property hello blind can you see my blind right there we are in hunting season so we are baiting over here or we're, we got some corn down and some some licks down and stuff but this is more of the property over this way and as you can see the property goes all the way back there, but it's all just overgrown. So it looks like we might need to get a forestry vulture in here. I guess we'll see what happens, but you can see all the corn and stuff on the ground. So here goes the front yard. We're gonna walk towards the front now. I'll give you a quick look at the side of the house. There it is. So we're way out here on the property. Not way out here, but you know, we're out here a little bit. This is all the ruts for me driving up and down on it, but I don't care so much about the grass. Lord knows we're gonna be riding dirt bikes and quads and side-by-sides, and we're probably gonna have a couple little tracks up for 50s and a little motocross action. So we'll see. But sorry about the shaky camera. I'm no professional here, guys. Oh, my toe dolly. A couple pallets. You know, you can never have enough pallets when you're just working on random stuff and doing stuff and stacking wood and all of that fun stuff. So, oh, some random brush. Some random crap I got. My log piles over there. The log splitter. I just finished putting some wood about an hour ago. But just to give you a lot of layer of land. This is in my front yard, like I was telling you before. Ooh, there's the house right there. So it's a pretty cool little little setup here. And then this is my log. I run a very, very, very small, small log business. Uh, sell, sell a little bit here and there. That's all. So we got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, Two-way log splitter. So it splits both ways going back and forth. It's pretty nice uh, from Harbor Freight. Um, it, it's, an, it's actually a pretty decent log splitter if I had to say. Uh, I haven't had anything. I haven't had it bogged down on anything yet. And we've had some pretty significant knots. Um, perspectively speaking, like that log right there is probably about 20 inches, I would say. So some of, some of this stuff is pretty big. 
Now in the front of my property here, we got all the stuff is just all overgrown here. Once again, it's got to, now that it's died down, I can probably just get my lawnmower in there and cut a bunch of that stuff. Now we also have a lot of acreage over this way. All right, this is the other side of my house right here. And as you can see, it's all overgrown, but you can't tell it in the, in this video, but over there is still my property. There's a little telephone pole right there. You see that little dot and it goes pretty much over to there. The property line is fucking huge. So, I mean, well, it's, it's, it's a good size property. So a bunch of trails need to get cut in. A bunch of stuff needs to get cut in. So we're excited to show you guys all of this. I'm going to take it right up to the front. So this is the front of the property. Here goes the front of the property right here when you're looking up. Boom. Now we have this whole entire side yard going on over here. And I mean, from that pole to that pole and all the way back. So you can't really see it. I'm sure this camera doesn't do any justice. I just got a drone. If I learn to fly it, I'll add the footage in. So as you can see, it goes all the way back. Um, we can probably get back here a little bit because uh, the deer are bedding down pretty heavy over here. As you can see, all of this stuff's already bedded down. So it all looks pretty cool. Um, but, and this is what it looks like. We gotta blaze some trails back here, man. I gotta get some dirt bikes and quads. We're gonna have some fun back here. And this is what it looks like, guys. It's just overgrown. I just, you can't, you know, you can barely get back in and move through this stuff. So, property tour. All right, so that's the property, guys. We're excited to have it. We're part. We're excited to be a part of it all. Um, we can't wait to uh, see what this land looks like as we uh, go ahead and brush hog it and get it down to the ground and make some room for greenhouses to go up and shops to go up and all the fun stuff. So we're really super excited, so stay tuned. This is the property tour that I promised, and that's all I got, guys. So until the next video, we're going to see you guys later.